Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to go over the new installation steps to get up and running with your own deployment of Copilot. I have just finished the refactoring. Uh, the back end and front end are split into separate containers and Nginx is also going to be running as a reverse proxy and will serve HTTPS by default as well. So we'll now get our glorious HTTPS connection to Copilot. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And Within the readme, you'll see I've updated uh, just a few steps. Really, there's only one additional step. And, and for this step, you will need to build your own Copilot front end image. We are still going to host the Copilot uh, back end image, but you guys will need to build the Copilot front end. And I've built a script here uh, to assist with that and make it a little easier. Uh, but really, that's the biggest change that we're going to, to make in this video. So. Here within my op directory here, uh, let me throw these out and I'll go ahead and clone Copilot. All right, so I've got that done. I'm gonna just go ahead and expand this. I'm gonna CD into the Copilot directory. Uh, immediately, you'll see that the directory structure has changed. Um, we've now made it a little cleaner. We have our front end, back end, and our Nginx folder as well. Now, you're gonna need to decide how you're going to connect to Copilot. So for example, I could either connect from directly to the IP address and pop the IP address in my browser or use a domain name. Of course, if you use a domain name, you need to make sure that the host computer that you're going to connect to Copilot is able to resolve that. And in my case, I'm going to use, I am going to use the domain name of ashdev copilot01.sockfortress.local because this will be the remote VM that I will be connecting to to load that. So. Now that I've determined that, I'm gonna go ahead and bash and run my build dockers.sh. And here you see we get asked to enter the new domain or IP address for the front end URL. And here we just have an example. So for this instant, for, for this deployment, I'm going to paste in my copilot domain address. Of course, I could use the IP address as well if I wanted to, but I always like using the domain name when I can. So what this is going to do now is build your own local front end container. So rather than when we run a Docker Compose, rather than you reaching out to our package repository to bring in the front end, you're actually building the front end locally. And all right, so we've got our front end built. Let me just go ahead and clear that out. Uh, the certs that are getting served to Nginx are in this Nginx uh, folder here. So if you wanna provide your own a uh, certain key you can. There's also a bash script within here that can assist with that, but, but we have some default ones in here just to get you up and running, but you do have the ability to, to adjust those if desired. And then lastly, we also need to create our .env file. So I'll copy the .env.example into .env. Let me go ahead and open this guy up. Um, I am going to be connecting to Copilot that's running on a remote server. Um, so I'm going to leave this at 0.0.0.0. If you want to use your local host, of course, you could change it to 127.0.0.1. Uh, and then for my connector credentials, I'm just going to leave them as the default because I'm going to configure the connector credentials through the front end of Copilot. So I'm going to go ahead and not make any changes to that file. I just first need to, of course, create it from the example template that we have. And then I'm going to run a Docker Compose up. And this is going to pull the Nginx container and also the uh, Copilot backend container, which, which we host ourselves. And then, of course, the Copilot front end, Docker is going to use the image that you just recently built. And while that's finishing, I'll go ahead and open up my browser. Um, okay, cool, here we see everything starting up, so that looks good. And uh, similar steps, so because this is my first time running Copilot, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the admin credentials. Uh, again, if you didn't see the previous video, these are only created once, so do make sure that you uh, capture these whenever you first start Copilot. And so let me go ahead and go to my browser, and. Uh, the Nginx config is also set up to redirect HTTP to HTTPS by default. So for example, if I just slap in HTTP here uh, and do my copilot.local, I'll get, you'll see I get redirected to, to HTTPS. Um, here we have our uh, certificate. This is just the default one that we provide. Of course, you guys can create your own and use that. 
Uh, looks like I've got some things cached. My browser has my session cache. I'm gonna go ahead and log out. I'll not be authenticated. I will paste in, actually that doesn't look right. I'll paste in the password that I just copied out for the admin user. Go ahead and sign in. And now we are ready to set up our connectors, which I've been uh, doing tutorials and separate videos for those. But, and congrats, you guys have just installed the latest refactoring of Copilot. Hopefully this is uh, the last big refactor we'll have to do and everything else uh, will just be uh, feature updates and changes. So appreciate you guys' time and I'll see you in the next one.